Atlantic Broadband Cable, in cooperation with the South Union Township Supervisors, presents the South Union Township Sports Network. Today, via tape delay from the Harold Horse Taylor Memorial Gymnasium, home of the Laurel Highlands Mustangs boys basketball team, the Laurel Highlands Mustangs will take on the Connorsville Falcons. Hi, everybody. I'm Tony Anola with Jerry Dupay, and we welcome you aboard for today's basketball game. South Union Township Sports Network coverage is brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, and CUTV with Gary Smith and their staff. I'm Tony Anola with Jerry Dupay, and we will be back with lineups for both teams right after these messages. Centers for Rehab Services, CRS, a part of UPMC and the Center for Sports Medicine, is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth sports. Make Centers for Rehab Services your choice for all of your physical and occupational therapy needs. CRS, located at 160 Wayland Smith Drive, provides physical therapy, occupational therapy, work injury programs, and hand therapy. Valuing patient satisfaction is one of their highest priorities. Centers for Rehab Services offers a patient-centered environment where each patient has an individualized treatment plan developed for their specific needs. They are experts in helping you recover from injuries, increase strength, and build endurance. CRS professionals have become highly skilled through a strong commitment to continuing education and advanced certifications to ensure the most cutting-edge and cost-effective treatment for their patients. Jim Burns, a lifetime Uniontown area resident, is a licensed physical therapist and facility director of the Uniontown location, as well as a field faculty instructor for Duquesne University and for the University of Pittsburgh School of Physical Therapy. He invites you to stop by his state-of-the-art location and discuss your rehabilitation needs. Center for Rehab Services is participating with most insurance plans, including all Highmark products. UPMC Health Plan and Medicare. Available five days a week and offering extended hours for patient convenience. Patients are seen within 24 to 48 hours and walk-ins are always welcome. Patients may also be seen through direct access which does not require a physician's prescription. CRS worked with physicians and other health care providers to help you find relief, live your life again, and get you back into the game. For more information, call CRS at 724-437-7500. Where you treat for physical therapy is always your choice, so ask for Centers for Rehab Services. It's your health, it's your choice. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. Every person who's been injured, when they come in, has an expectation that their case is important, and it is to us. We take these cases very seriously. So that experience that we have is unique also because we have experience in these communities, in Uniontown, in Washington, in Waynesburg, in these court systems. You don't have to go to Pittsburgh to be represented by attorneys who don't know their way around your community. Davis and Davis, Attorneys at Law. Good luck, Mustangs, from the Township Supervisors. Rick Vernon, Jason Scott, and Robert Schiffbeier. Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network. Today, the Laurel Highlands Mustangs take on the Connorsville Falcons. Today's starting lineup for the Connorsville Falcons. They're coming in with an overall record of 5-4, and 1-1 one one in section play. Their head coach is Andy Hedrick. 
His starters for today will be Ahmad Hooper, a 5'8 senior guard. Cade Musgrove, a 6'2 senior forward. Colby Keedy, a 5'11 junior guard. Cole Shearer, a 5'11 senior forward. And Josh Mayer, a 6'6 senior forward. We'll be right back with the Laurel Highlands Mustangs starting lineup right after these messages on the South Union Township Sports Network. Creditors calling you day and night? Your debt overwhelms you? Although you may feel that you're in a hopeless situation, Zebli Mahalov and White can help. We're a full-service local bankruptcy firm that knows what a difficult time this is and what to do to help you get a fresh start. Call Zebli Mahalov and White today for a free consultation. Your hometown bankruptcy firm. Call us today. Don't borrow more money until you talk to Zebli Mahalov and White. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad because people are busy these days at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Turn to the experts. Fayette Furnace Company Incorporated, serving the Tri-County area since 1920, the area's oldest and most reliable heating and cooling contractor, specializing in carrier equipment. Employee owned and operated, choosing Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier not only gives you over 200 years of experience, but gives you the experts to help you solve your home's comfort needs. And call Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier to solve your home comfort needs today. Call 724-438-438. 5400 or look up Fayette Furnace Company on the web at FayetteFurnaceCompany.com. Turn to the experts, almost 100 years of serving the Tri-County area. For more information, call Mike at 724-438-5400. That's 724-438-5400 for Fayette Furnace Company. Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network. Tonight's lineup for the Laurel Highlands Mustangs coming in with a 5-4 and four overall record, 2-2 two and two in section play. Head coaches Rick Hogger, assistant coaches John Smith and D'Air Jenkins. The starting lineups for the Mustangs will be Rodney Gallagher, a 6-foot freshman guard, Caleb Palumbo, a 5'10 junior guard, Tyvon Long, a 6'4 senior forward, Nick Egnott, a 6'3 junior forward, and Tim Smith, a 5'10 sophomore guard. We'll be right back for the opening tip-off in the National Anthem right after these messages on the South Union Township Sports Network. Smith, Lewis, and Chess, financial advisors of Uniontown. We'd like to wish the Laurel Hines boys basketball team and their coaches on having a successful basketball season. The key to success in life is teamwork. On and off the field, in the workplace, in the home, in our schools, teamwork gets it done. The world of competitive sports offers many good things, the most important of which is teamwork. Individual talent may win a few games, but teamwork wins championships. Go team! Go Laurel Highlands Mustangs! This positive message has been brought to you and paid for by Jason Scott.
Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network, where today Laurel Highlands Mustangs will take on the Connorsville Falcons. A rematch of a game played December 7th at Penn State Fayette Campus in the Fayette County Coaches Association tip-off classic, where the Connorsville Falcons defeated the Mustangs 54 to 46. The Mustangs looking for some revenge here on a Saturday afternoon. The Mustangs coming off a loss last night against Gateway 56 to 54 while Connorsville coming in with a win at Norwin last night, 75-60. to We'll send it down to the voice of the Mustangs, Barry Rosner, for our national anthem and the starting lineups. Get ready for tonight's starting lineups. Both teams coming in tonight's game with a 5-4 and four record. Both teams also averaging 62 points a game and giving up 60, so it should be a pretty even contest here, as we mentioned. Connorsville with the win on December 7th, 54-46. to 46. And in that game, Ahmad Hooper coming out, being the first one to introduce a transfer from Uniontown. Cade Musgrove, a 6'2 senior forward. A senior number 12, Cole Shearer. Cole Shearer, a 5'11 senior forward for Connorsville. A senior number 25, Josh Mayer. Josh Mayer coming in, scored 21 points against the Mustangs. And Colby Keedy coming in as the last starter for Connorsville, the 5'11 junior guard. In the first meeting, Mayer had 21 points and Musgrove had 17 to lead Connorsville for the Mustangs. They were led by Keandre Cook and Rodney Gallagher. Now the starting line is for the Mustangs. Tyvon Long, the 6'4 senior forward. Long was injured in the first game against Connorsville. There's Tim Smith, the 5'10 sophomore guard, running the point for the Mustangs. Nick Egnott getting the start today. The 6'3 junior forward has given the Mustangs great minutes off the bench this year. Caleb Palumbo, the 5'10 junior guard, transferred in from Unitown before the season started. And Rodney Gallagher, the six-foot freshman guard. Rodney with a nice write-up in this week's Post-Gazette by head high school sports writer Mike White. Very nice article on Rodney. If you get a chance to take a look at it, please do. The Mustangs, as we said, coming off a loss last night, 56-53 to Gateway. They were actually leading by five after three periods of play, but ended up losing, being outscored 19-10 and losing 56 to 53. On the other hand, 
Connorsville completely dominated Norwin from the start last night with a big 75-60 to 60 win to even their section record at 1-1. One and, one. and as we said, these two teams familiar with each other after playing already. We're going to have Tyvon Long and Cade Musgrove jumping at center. Our referees for today's game, Bill Beaner, Brad Yeoman, and Pat Lyon. And we're ready to get this game underway. Yeoman with the toss. And the Mustangs control the tap. Agnot back to Smith. Connorsville coming out in a 1-3-1 zone. Interesting. Smith trying to survey the situation. 1-3-1. Coach Hogger yelling instructions, trying to get Caleb to go in the corner. Palumbo trying to get ready for his three-pointer, but can't get it to him. There's Smith in the drive, and nice defense there by Mayer. Here's Palumbo for the three, and he knocks it down. Caleb Palumbo with the first basket of the game, and it's a three-pointer. The Mustangs take an early 3-0 lead. The Mustangs back in a 2-1-2 zone. And Maude Hooper running the point for Connorsville. Keedy thought about the shot, but passed it up. He's going to take it now, though. A little too strong off the iron. Rebound corralled by Rodney Gallagher. Gallagher going to run the point now. A little weave offense by the Mustangs. Palumbo. Being tightly guarded there by Cole Shear. Here's Agnaw with the shot. In and out. Can't get it to go. Rebound Mayer. Falcons coming the other way. Nice crowd here on a Saturday afternoon for the great contest between the Mustangs and the Connorsville Falcons. Nice inlet pass there to Mayer. Mayer up strong. Josh Mayer with the first basket for Connorsville. He's got two, and now the score three to two. That's six minutes to play in this first quarter. As we mentioned, Mayer had 21 in the first meeting with the Falcons. Is Gallagher too strong, but Egg not able to track it down. Palumbo for another three, no good. Long offensive rebound, can't get it to go. Tip by Gallagher. Gallagher with his first two points of the afternoon. Makes it a 5-2 lead for the Mustangs. Rodney Gallagher averaging 23.8 points a game for the Mustangs. Hooper, nice entry try there to Cole Shear, but tipped away, and they're going to call that ball off Shear. So the Mustangs to take possession. Coach Andy Hedrick took Shear out now. Substitute is going to be, who do we have, number 32? That's Josh Marietta coming into the game for the Connorsville Falcons. Smith. Working off the screen by Egnot. Gallagher with a long three. Short front rim. Rebound by Marietta. Coming the other way, the Falcons. Hooper. Back to Keedy. Mustangs playing good zone defense here so far to start the game. Five minutes to go here, first quarter. Again. The Falcons just looking for an entry pass to one of their bigs, either May or... Marietta, actually he's out at the point here. Hooper trying to drive, kicks it out to Marietta, near walk. Hooper for a long three. No good, rebound, great position there by Tyvon Long. And he's going to draw the foul on Josh Marietta. Tyvon Long with fantastic position underneath. And that's going to be the first foul on the Connorsville Falcons here today in the first foul of the game, picked up by Josh Marietta. The 6'4 sophomore forward. Gallagher shaking and baking on Ahmad Hooper. Here's a nice pass to Long, who takes it strong to the basket. Ty Vaughn Long with his first basket. Now the lead up to five, seven to two. Mustangs drive here. Nice shot by Cade Musgrove. Musgrove coming off a 19 point performance last night against Norwin. Gets his first basket of today's game. Mustangs now lead 7-4. to four. we got four minutes to play here in this first quarter. Palumbo out high. Near double team. Gallagher 
looking to work off the screen. Palumbo thought about hitting Smith in the corner. Gallagher being guarded by Hooper. Here's Timmy Smith for the three, and he gets the roll. Tim Smith, the 5'10 sophomore guard, makes a second three-pointer of the day for the Mustangs and takes the lead back to 5, 9-4. to four. Here's a shot by Musgrove. No good. Long rebound to Marietta. Kicks it back out to set the offense back up. Keedy hits a flashing mayor at the foul line, but he's guarded tightly there by Nick Egnott. Ahmad Hooper getting instructions from Coach Hedrick. Connorsville comes in on a four-game winning streak. Looking to make it five here today. Here's Keedy for an all-in three again short. Gets his own rebounds. Nice follow. Nice dump down two to Mayer. Josh Mayer with his fourth point of the game. The lead now at nine to six. Coach Auger not too happy with that box out there. He's going to bring Jaden Pratt in next break. Here's Smith thought about the three. Passed it up. And the turnover there. Nice steal by Musgrove. Hooper coming the other way. Going to take it strong. Floater in the lane. No good. Rebound by Gallagher. Nice outlet pass to Palumbo. Does he get fouled? No. Going to hit Smith in the corner. Smith, no good. Tapped out. And here comes Musgrove. It's a race with him and Gallagher. Gallagher able to corral it and come on back. Fast break the other way. Going to take it one on four. And he's going to draw a foul. That foul is going to be on number one. They're going to call that on a mod Hooper. But that's going to send Gallagher to the line. Gallagher, an 82% free throw shooter on the year. Fantastic at the foul line. Gallagher with two here today. Make it three. Rodney Gallagher now with three. The Mustangs, ten. Falcons, six. A couple substitutions. Tyvon Long is going to come out. Jaden Pratt going to check in. We're going to have Sam Soison and Cole Shearer check back in for the Falcons. And Gallagher able to make the second. So Gallagher, four points. And the lead back up to five, 11 to six. Two minutes, 10 seconds to go here in this first quarter. Hooper running the point. Connorsville trying to solve this two-on-two -two defense by the Mustangs. Keedy up front. I'm sorry, that's Musgrove. Soison with the three. Gets it to go. Sam Soison, the 5'10", June, sorry, senior guard, coming off the bench, cold, and knocks down a three. That's the first three-pointer of the game for Connorsville. Cuts the lead to two, 11 to nine. Minute and a half to go in this first quarter. Gallagher barking out instructions. Mustangs. As we said, 1-3-1 one, one zone defense by Connorsville. Nice pass to Agnot. Gallagher able to draw the defenders to him and drop it down to Nick Agnot for an easy two. So now Agnot becomes the fifth Mustang player to score here today. A balanced effort, 13-9. One minute even to go in this first quarter. Mustangs with a four-point lead. Musgrove guarded by Pratt. Soison picked up by Palumbo. Hooper going to run some clock. Soison thought about it, but Palumbo able to step out on defense. Here's Gallagher with the steal. Goes up strong, can't get it to go. Rebound, Tim Smith. He's going to pull it back out. Oh, and here's Egnot from the foul line. No good. Pratt with the rebound. He's going to kick it back out to Palumbo. Palumbo for three, no good. And rebound there by Josh Mayer. The Mustangs with three chances can't convert to extend their lead. So now 13 to 9. We're at 20 seconds to play here in this first quarter. Connorsville looking for the last shot. The Mustangs. As we said, four losses coming into this game. The largest loss was their first game against Connorsville. Connorsville defeated them by eight. After that, all three losses are by three points. Near steal by Nick Egnott with 2.8 seconds to go here in the first. Connorsville Soison to get it in. Hooper going to shoot a long three and makes it. Ahmad Hooper with a three to cut the Mustang lead to one, 13 to 12. 
after this first quarter, and we'll be back for second quarter action here on the South Union Township Sports Network right after these messages. Colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths. Signs include abdominal pain and rectal bleeding. Colon cancer develops from a degenerating benign growth or polyp. Doctors performing colonoscopy are able to remove precancerous polyps, thus preventing colon cancer. This saves lives, and the American Cancer Society now recommends that everyone have a colonoscopy every 10 years, beginning at age 50. Offer the latest diagnostic testing, SWGI, Specialists in Digestive Health. Southwestern Endoscopy Center is a state licensed and Medicare certified facility and emphasizes privacy, comfort, caring, and safety for colonoscopies and upper GI endoscopies. Painless procedures are done with twilight sedation given by a board certified anesthesiologist. The center accepts most insurance plans and is staffed by Drs. Ruth Hart, Calabrese, Stokes, SWGI, specialists in digestive health. Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network, getting ready to tip off second quarter action today. The Mustangs taking on the Connorsville Falcons. And there's Hooper. He's going to get called for the walk. Hooper made the long three as time ran out there in the first quarter. Pretty balanced scoring on both teams. The Mustangs with five scores. The Connorsville Falcons with four so far here today. They're led by Josh Mayer with four, Hooper with three, Soison with three, and Cade Musgrove with two. For the Mustangs, Gallagher with four, Palumbo with three, Long and Agnot with two, and Timmy Smith with a made three. Here's Gallagher working on Soison, is going to take it. A little fade away, short, rebound. Hooper coming out of the pack with it. He's going to take it one on two, gets a floater, no good. Rebound fought for underneath. Timmy Smith comes away with it. Smith on the outlet pass to Palumbo. Caleb going to look to kick it back out. Rodney Gallagher running the point here today for the Mustangs. Keandre Cook not in the lineup yet. My understanding was and haven't been confirmed, but he was injured last night in the game against Gateway. So Egnott with the start today for the Mustangs. Timmy Smith on the miss. And there's an errant pass by Hooper. Hooper trying to hit Cade Musgrove, and even at 6-2, couldn't climb the ladder to get that pass. Now the Mustang substituting Terrence Thomas Brown checking in for Caleb Palumbo. Brown, the 5'11 junior guard, seeing his first action of the day. And again, Conazil staying in. Now it looks like they've dropped back into a man-to-man -man defense. Nice inlet pass to Egnaut, and they're going to call him for a charge. Wow. Referee Pat Lyon said that Cole Shear established position. He called Nick Egnaut for the charge, so that's the first foul today so far on the Mustangs. Egnaut picks up his first, team first, Connorsville with two fouls. One by Marietta, one by Ahmad Hooper, so nobody in foul trouble here early on in this game. Hooper down to Shear. Soison, as we said, came off the bench and knocked down a three right off the bench. Cold. He's looking for that shot now. Just couldn't corral that pass. Soison just turned his head a little bit, so there's a turnover by the Connorsville Falcons. We're going to have a sub check in. Colby Keedy to check in. Soison now to check out. Keedy, the 5'11 junior guard. Now the Mustangs. Still 13 to 12. Nobody scored here yet in the second quarter. Here's Brown in the corner. Gallagher thought about it, but Keedy stepped out. Nice defense by him. Gallagher going to shake and bake and try to work off a screen by Pratt. Nice pass to Pratt on the line. No good. Went after his own rebound, but it was corralled by Musgrove. And here's Hooper. Cross-court pass, dangerous, but Musgrove able to get it. Short, rebound by Pratt. 
Here comes Gallagher the other way. There's Brown for three, no good, back iron. Rebound by Musgrove. Both teams running, but not shooting very well here today. Mayer going to come in, in the lane, no good. Gallagher just skies over Cole Shearer for the rebound. And here's Thomas Brown. Nice pass to Pratt. Jaden Pratt with two. And the Mustangs now extend their lead 15 to 12. We're down to five minutes and 10 seconds to go in this second quarter. That's the first point scored by either team. And a near steal there by Rodney Gallagher. We're going to have Sam Soison check in for Ahmad Hooper. Hooper checking out with a made three right at the end of the first quarter. Connors will now to trigger it in under their own basket. Musgrove lost possession but able to gather it back. Here's Keedy for a three. Short, no good. Rebound, though, by Mayer. Couldn't be corralled by Pratt. So Connorsville to reset. Now Colby Keedy running the point. Almost the turnover. Goes going to throw it to Shearer, who is cutting. Here's Soison now to Josh Mayer. Mayer. Josh Mayer, the 6'6 senior forward with six. And the Mustang lead cut back to one, 15 to 14. We're down to 4.30 to play in this second quarter. The Mustangs again. Gallagher running the point. Nick Agnot coming up high. Just nobody really moving for the Mustangs at this point in time. Gallagher trying to get a clear out. He's going to drop it down to Palumbo for three in the corner. No good. Off the top, Musgrove comes away with the rebound. Gets it to Keedy. Back to Musgrove. Thought about it. But going to kick it back out and set up the offense. There's Soison. It's a flashing sheer near steal by Palumbo. There's Soison again for three. No good short front rim. Mayer able to corral that rebound, though, and Connorsville gains possession again. There's going to be a travel. Brad Yeoman making the call. Colby Keedy. Kind of stepped into that shot before he took the three. And he got called for the travel. Now he's going to take a seat. Ahmad Hooper is coming back in now to replace him. Coach Hedrick giving him some instruction as he heads to the bench. So now Pratt kicks it into Gallagher. The Mustangs, as we mentioned, have not seen Keandre Cook today. And there's a steal. Mayer. Stealing the in nut pass into Pratt. Here's Soison again, going to try his third three, and he's making this one. Sam Soison now with six points on two made threes. And Connorsville takes their first lead of the game, 17-15. We're down to three minutes to go here in this second quarter. Is Gallagher going to step in? Just inside the line, but knocks down the shot. Rodney Gallagher now with six, and the game is tied 17-17. Near travel by Soison over to Musgrove, and he's going to get a three. Now all of a sudden, nobody was scoring, and now everybody's knocking down shots. That's the fourth made three here today for Connorsville. First by Musgrove, and the lead back up to three for the Connorsville Falcon. That's their biggest lead of the game. 20-17, 220 to go here, second quarter. Palumbo going to take a three from the corner. Yes. Caleb Palumbo with his second made three of the game. He's got six in the game. Again, tied 20 to 20. 2-10 to go. Musgrove thought about it. Nice pass to Mayer. Musgrove doubled up. Going to get back to Mayer. Baseline jumper short. Rebound to Agnot. And here comes Gallagher the other way. Agnot with the screen. Hooper able to fight through that screen pretty nicely on defense. Nice pass to Agnot there. Flashes in. Pratt's going to get called for the jump. Travel. Just kind of lost where he was at. Should have just taken it up strong. Would have had the easy layup, but got called for the turnover. So 20 to 20. And as we said, both of these teams came in with a 5-4 and four record, pretty evenly matched. 
Musgrove going to drive baseline, go up strong. Can't get it to go. Tap, Mayer, no good. Another tap, can't get it to go, but I think this is going to be a foul on Agnot underneath. Josh Mayer with a couple offensive rebounds, and that is going to be on Nick Agnot. And although that's only the second team foul for the Mustangs, that's two on Agnot. So with a minute and 25 seconds to go, Nick's got to be careful not to pick up his third. It's going to send Josh Mayer to the line. Mayer, an excellent foul shooter, makes the first. Mayer was seven for nine in the first game from the foul line against the Mustangs. Now we're going to have Caden Phillips, the 6'1 junior forward, checking in for Nick Agnot. Coach Hogger doesn't want to see him pick up his third foul here with a minute and 25 to go. So Caden Phillips seeing his first action of the day. Here's Mayer in and out. So Mayer now with seven. And the lead 21-20. The Mustangs trail. Connorsville Falcons, a minute 15 to go. First half. Gallagher. Pull-up jumper, bank, no good. Rebound, Palumbo. Nice job there by Caleb to fight underneath there with the bigs and come away with the rebound. Coach Auger shouting instructions. Take your time, run some clock. Caleb picked up there by Musgrove. Timmy Smith guarded closely by Shear in the corner to Palumbo. Palumbo, again, can't get the three to go. Hooper coming out of the pack, taking it strong. He's going to get fouled by Jaden Pratt. Pratt picking up his first foul. But that's going to send Ahmad Hooper to the line. Hooper came off a fantastic game last night. He had 25 in a game against Norwin where Connorsville won 75 to 60. So Hooper today with three. And still at three, misses the first. Connorsville now one for three from the line today. And Hooper's going to get another chance. There's a second attempt. Strong back iron, rebound by Pratt. So with 20, I'm sorry, 35 seconds to go, Gallagher's going to take it strong and get the layup. Here's a near steal by Palumbo. No, it is a steal. Back to Gallagher. He's going to take it up strong for the layup, and he's going to get fouled again. That's going to be a foul on Ahmad Hooper. Nice hustle play by Caleb Palumbo to get the steal. Get it back to Gallagher. So Gallagher now going to go to the line, as we said, came in this game an 83% free throw shooter. He's two for two from the line here today. The only two makes, only two attempts for the Mustangs. And as normal, I jinxed him, and now he's two for three. So Mustangs up 22, 21, 23.4 seconds to go. Gallagher trying to extend this lead now to two points for the Mustangs. And does. So Rodney Gallagher now with nine. And the Mustangs lead 23, 21. Have a feeling the Connors will try to get the last shot here, hold possession. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's Soison running the point. Going to be picked up by Thomas Brown at half court. And there's a turnover. The Mustangs coming the other way. Brown with a nice scoop and score. Terrence Thomas Brown, beautiful layup. And the Mustangs up four. There's a shot by Stillwagon who checked in. No good. But Mayer able to get it to go. Nice pass to Mayer underneath. And the basket will count. Got it off just in time. Referee Bill Beener giving him credit. So now at halftime, it's the Laurel Highlands Mustangs 25, the Connorsville Falcons 23. We'll be back with the halftime stats right after these messages on the South Union Township Sports Network.
Smith, Lewis, and Chess, financial advisors of Uniontown, would like to wish the Laurel Hines boys basketball team and their coaches on having a successful basketball season. The key to success in life is teamwork. On and off the field, in the workplace, in the home, in our schools, teamwork gets it done. The world of competitive sports offers many good things, the most important of which is teamwork. Individual talent may win a few games, but teamwork wins championships. Go team! Go Laurel Highlands Mustangs! This positive message has been brought to you and paid for by Jason Scott. Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network. We're at halftime where the Laurel Highlands Mustangs lead the Connorsville Falcons 25-23. to Here's our halftime stats for the first half. For the Laurel Highlands Mustangs, Rodney Gallagher with a team-high nine. Terrence Thomas-Brown with a fantastic scoop shot for his two. Caleb Palumbo on two made threes for his total of 6-1 in each quarter. Tyvon Long with two. Nick Egnott with two. Timmy Smith with a made three in the first quarter for his total of three. And Jaden Pratt with two. Seven Mustangs scored in that first half. They scored 13 points in the first quarter, 12 in the second for their total of 25. They have three made threes, two of those by Palumbo in the first half. And they were three for four from the line. And actually Rodney Gallagher was three for four from the line in that first half. The stats for the Connorsville Falcons. Ahmad Hooper with a made three right at the end of that first quarter for his only points of the game. Sam Soison off the bench with two made threes, one at each quarter for his total of six. Cade Musgrove had five. And Josh Mayer with a team high nine points for the Connorsville Falcons. They scored 12 in the first, 11 in the second for their total of 23. They were one for four from the foul line, and they had four made threes. Two of them by Soison, one by Hooper, and one by Caden Musgrove. So as we said at the break, it's 25-23, the Mustangs ahead of the Connorsville Falcons. And we'll be back with second half action right after these messages on the South Union Township Sports Network. Thanks from the Township Supervisors, Rick Vernon, Jason Scott, and Robert Schiffbeier. Centers for Rehab Services, CRS, a part of UPMC and the Center for Sports Medicine, is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth sports. 
make Centers for Rehab Services your choice for all of your physical and occupational therapy needs. CRS, located at 160 Wayland Smith Drive, provides physical therapy, occupational therapy, work injury programs, and hand therapy. Valuing patient satisfaction is one of their highest priorities. Centers for Rehab Services offers a patient-centered environment where each patient has an individualized treatment plan developed for their specific needs. They are experts in helping you recover from injuries, increase strength, and build endurance. CRS professionals have become highly skilled through a strong commitment to continuing education and advanced certifications to ensure the most cutting-edge and cost-effective treatment for their patients. Jim Burns, a lifetime Uniontown area resident, is a licensed physical therapist and facility director of the Uniontown location, as well as a field faculty instructor for Duquesne University and for the University of Pittsburgh School of Physical Therapy. He invites you to stop by his state-of-the-art location and discuss your rehabilitation needs. Center for Rehab Services is participating with most insurance plans, including all Highmark products, UPMC Health Plan, and Medicare. Available five days a week and offering extended hours for patient convenience, patients are seen within 24 to 48 hours and walk-ins are always welcome. Patients may also be seen through direct access, which does not require a physician's prescription. CRS worked with physicians and other health care providers to help you find relief, live your life again, and get you back into the game. For more information, call CRS at 724-437-7500. Where you treat for physical therapy is always your choice, so ask for Centers for Rehab Services. It's your health, it's your choice. Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network. We're getting ready for... Second half action. We've got a good one here today. The Mustangs leading the Connorsville Falcons 25-23. As we said, the Mustangs trying to avenge their loss in the opener to Connorsville 54-46. And as we said in that game two, Tyvon Long ended up getting injured, which changed the game for the Mustangs. So he's been able to play this full game, which has been a big difference for the Mustangs here today. So now... The Mustangs with possession. They're going to trigger it in at half court. Timmy Smith, same five starters for the Mustangs. Oh, no, take it back. Tyvon Long out. Jaden Pratt with the start for the second half. So it's Gallagher, Smith, Pratt, Nick Agnott, and Caleb Palumbo for the Connorsville Falcons. Hooper, Musgrove, Keedy, Shearer, and Mayer, their original starters to start the second half. Here's Gallagher being guarded closely by Keedy. Connorsville, man to man. Here's Agnot working on Mayer. Going to kick it out to Timmy Smith. Rebound, no good. Mayer going to get the rebound. But Billy Beaner going to call a foul. He's going to call that foul on Nick Agnot. And that's going to be Agnot's third foul. So now that's trouble for the Mustangs. No, they're going to call that on. Wait a minute. He signaled 21, but maybe they're going to call that on Shearer. I'm sorry. And they gave that call to, to Cole Shearer. Interesting call. So luckily, Nick Egnott does not pick up his third. Made basket there by Palumbo. So the Mustangs now back up 28-23. Here's Keedy. And check that. That basket was made by Timmy Smith, not Palumbo. So Smith now with five. And the Mustang lead at five, 28-23. Hooper. Musgrove, nice pass. Cade Musgrove with a beautiful entry pass to Josh Mayer for an easy two. Mayer now with a game-high 11. And the Mustangs lead now 3-28-25. Six minutes, 30 seconds to go in this third quarter. Gallinger surveying the situation. Going to work off a screen by Egnot. 
take it in the lane. Kicks it out to Palumbo. Palumbo for three, yes. Caleb Palumbo with his third made three of the game. One in each quarter, and the Mustangs lead up to its largest, 31-25. And timeout called there by Connorsville. 30-second timeout, and we'll take a timeout as well. 6-11 to go in the third quarter. 31-25, the Mustangs lead the Falcons. We'll be right back on the South Union Township Sports Network right after these messages. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. Important for people to know that we represent injured people to the best of our ability, and we've been successful doing that. And I don't say that to have people come to see us because we have been successful. I say that because it's true and it's important. Another important aspect is the experience that we have is local experience, experience in the court system in Uniontown, in Washington, in Waynesburg. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Smith, Lewis, and Chess, financial advisors of Uniontown, would like to wish the Law Hines boys basketball team and their coaches on having a successful basketball season. Welcome back. 6-11 to go here in the third quarter. The Mustangs leading the Connorsville Falcons, 31-25. Connorsville to take it out. After the made three by Caleb Palumbo, as we said, Palumbo with nine here, three threes, one in each quarter. The Mustang lead at six. The Mustang still in a 2-1-2 zone. And there's a steal near, steal by Gallagher. Pokes it away. Hooper able to come up with the loose ball. Musgrove being guarded extremely tight by Gallagher. The Mustangs defense playing well here today. Dump down pass to Shearer. Cole Shearer able to pick up the easy basket right in the lane. So Shearer with his first two points of the game. The lead now at 4, 31-27. The Mustangs lead the Connorsville Falcons. Smith, Palumbo again, no good, back iron and over the support. So Caleb couldn't get that three to go. Now checking in for the Connorsville Falcons, Shear going to check out. Josh Marietta, 6'4", sophomore forward, going to check in for the Falcons. Marietta saw some action in the first half, but he's been scoreless today. There's Mayer to Musgrove, stepping out there is Pratt, good defense. Hooper. Keedy in the corner to Mayer. The Falcons just having a tough time getting an open shot, but there's Keedy. Three no good. Rebound offensively by Marietta. And he's going to be fouled by Jaden Pratt. So that's the second foul on Pratt. The Mustangs' first team foul here in this second half. So Pratt with two, but that's going to send Josh Marietta to the line. As we said, Marietta, 6'4", sophomore forward. His first attempt, up and good. Josh gets into the scoring column. So now Connorsville with six players in the scoring column as well. As we said, the Mustangs with seven. Marietta makes them both. So Josh Marietta cuts the lead back to two. 31-29, 440 to go here in this third quarter. 
Gallagher splits the defenders. Going to drive baseline. He's going to get fouled. A little hip check there by Josh Mayer. That's going to be his first foul. Not very many fouls in this game today. Connorsville with two so far in his second half. The Mustangs only with one. <clears throat> no, nobody really in foul trouble. Hooper has two for the Connorsville and two for Nick Agnaldi on the other side. Here's Gallagher, splits the defense, takes it in for an easy layup. Rodney Gallagher with the shake and bake. He's got 11, and the Mustangs lead back up to 4, 33-29. 4, 15 to go here, third quarter. Hooper tries the entry pass to Marietta, but it's stolen away by Nick Agnott. Timmy Smith coming the other way. Gallagher at the point today, a little bit different. We've seen Timmy Smith at the point for the Mustangs throughout the year, but little change of pace here today. Gallagher taking over that spot for the Mustangs. As Agnot wanted to kick it to Smith in the corner. Over to Gallagher for three. Can't get it to go in and out. Pratt and Mayer fight for the rebound, but it's going to be off Pratt. And the Falcons will get the ball out of bounds. 3.42, 33-29 in this third quarter. The Mustangs a four-point lead. Here comes Hooper. Mustang still in that 2-1-2 zone defense. Nice entry pass there to Mayer from Musgrove. Cade Musgrove, beautiful dish. Mayer able to roll off of the defender, Agnot for the easy layup. Great inlet pass. And the lead now back to two for the Mustangs, 33-31. There's a pass to Agnot, reverse lamp, and he gets it to go. Nick Agnot with the acrobatic shot. Scores his fourth point of the game. Takes the Mustang lead back up to four. Musgrove the other way. Cade Musgrove with his second made three of the game. He's got eight in the lead now at 135-34. Laurel Highlands over the Falcons. Smith in the corner. Gets it to Agnot. Little high-low action. Here's Gallagher steps in. Can't get it to go. Agnot with the rebound up strong. No good. Pratt with the rebound. But it's stolen away by Musgrove. And here's Josh Mayer, the 6'6 senior. Nice pass to Marietta. Pump fake. Nice move. Josh Marietta now with all four points that he has in this third quarter. And the Falcons take their second lead of the game, 36-35. We're down to 2-10 to play here in this third quarter. Timmy Smith, wide open three. Can't get it to go. Eggnot offensive rebound. He's going to get fouled. They're going to call a cross-the-wrist foul on Josh Marietta. That's going to be his second foul. Team foul number four in this third quarter. Sorry, check that. It's only going to be a third team foul rather than four. But that's going to send Nick Agnaught to the line, the 6'3 junior forward. He's got four points, make it five. Agnaught able to convert. The Mustangs now four for five from the line here today. Agnot trying to extend the lead now for the Mustangs. Tie game. 36-36, 2.06 to go in the third. Here's Agnot up and good. So the 6'3 junior forward puts the Mustangs back on top, 37-36. And there's a steal. No, Hooper able to control it. Now he's going to draw the foul. Terrence Thomas Brown, who checked in for the Mustang, is going to get called for the hold. And that's his first. But that's only the team second in this quarter. So, Connorsville to take the ball out. A minute 50 to go. Down to Mayer in the corner. Nice defense by Smith. Overmatched by size, but great defensive position. And the air ball picked up by Thomas Brown. He gets it over to Gallagher, and Gallagher says, let's settle this down. A minute and a half to go, third quarter. The Mustangs up one, 37-36. Looking to extend this lead. Brown cross-court pass, dangerous near steal by Hooper. But now Brown with the three, and he's going to make it. Terrence Thomas Brown with a made three. He's got five, and the Mustang lead back up to fourth, 40-36. to 36. Minute 10 to go, third quarter. There's Hooper, Sam Soysen who checked in 
for the Falcons. Soison with two made threes here today. Musgrove trying to drive baseline. Good job by Egnott, but dumps it back to Mayer, and he's going to get fouled. Josh Mayer going to have a chance to go for the three-point play the old-fashioned way. It's going to be a foul on Caden Phillips, who had checked in, but it's going to send Mayer to the line. So Mayer now with six in this quarter, 15 for the game. He's got a chance to make it a one-point lead for the Mustangs. Basket was good. So now Mayer, who's one for two from the line today, make it two for three. So Josh with 16 on the day. And he's going to get a little breather for the last 55.6 seconds of this third quarter. Mustangs leading 40 to 39. Gallagher crosses the timeline. Gets it in the corner to Thomas Brown, who just knocked down the three but can't control the pass. And that's going to be a turnover by the Mustangs. Ter Terrence Thomas Brown was open. Gallagher tried to get it to him in the corner but just couldn't control the pass. So now checking in will be Braden Stillwagon for Cole Shearer. We also have Liam Yaldell check in. So it's Udell, Musgrove, Stillwagon, Hooper, and Soison for the Falcons. Phillips, Gallagher, Thomas Brown, Egnott, and Smith for the Mustangs. And Coach Andy Hedrick not happy with the offensive movement by his team, so he's going to call a timeout. So 27.3 to go. The Mustangs lead 40 to 39. We'll be back right after these messages on the South Union Township Sports Network. Creditors calling you day and night? Your debt overwhelms you? Although you may feel that you're in a hopeless situation, Zebli Mahalov and White can help. We're a full-service local bankruptcy firm that knows what a difficult time this is and what to do to help you get a fresh start. Call Zebli Mahalov and White today for a free consultation. Your hometown bankruptcy firm. Call us today. Don't borrow more money until you talk to Zebli Mahalov and White. Turn to the experts. Fayette Furnace Company Incorporated, serving the Tri-County area since 1920, the area's oldest and most reliable heating and cooling contractor, specializing in carrier equipment. Employee owned and operated, choosing Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier not only gives you over 200 years of experience, but gives you the experts to help you solve your home's comfort needs. And call Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier to solve your home comfort needs today. Call 724-438-438. 5400 or look up Fayette Furnace Company on the web at FayetteFurnaceCompany.com. Turn to the experts, almost 100 years of serving the Tri-County area. For more information, call Mike at 724-438-5400. That's 724-438-5400 for Fayette Furnace Company. the South Union Township Sports Network. We're down to the final 27 seconds to go here in this third quarter. We've got a good one, 40-39. to 39. The Mustangs lead Connorsville. They're still wagging for Connorsville with the shot. No good. But Udell is going to get called for the foul. So Liam Udell, who just checked in for the Connorsville Falcons, he's going to get called for his first foul. Now you're going to have number 23, Gage Gillot, checking in. He's going to check in for Stillwagon, who just missed that three, so 16.6 .6 seconds to go. The Mustangs, I'm sure, will hold for the last shot. Up 40 to 39 here in the third quarter. And as we said, trying to avenge an opening game loss in the Fayette County Coaches Association tip-off classic against Connorsville. Smith trying to make a move. Egnott with the loose ball. And he's going to get called for the travel. Wow. Egnott with hustle went down on the floor to get that, but he got called for the travel. So now Connorsville is going to retain possession. 4.3 seconds to go. Coach Hedrick going to take out 
Udell and Jalot. Musgrove still wagging. Mayer checking back in. Hooper and Keedy. Here's Hooper. Nice pass to still wagon, but right off his hands and out of bounds. So at the end of three, it's the Laurel Highlands Mustangs 40 and the Connorsville Falcons 39. And we'll be back with the exciting fourth quarter action here on the South Union Township Sports Network right after these messages. Colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths. Signs include abdominal pain and rectal bleeding. Colon cancer develops from a degenerating benign growth or polyp. Doctors performing colonoscopy are able to remove precancerous polyps, thus preventing colon cancer. This saves lives, and the American Cancer Society now recommends that everyone have a colonoscopy every 10 years, beginning at age 50. Offer the latest diagnostic testing SWGI, Specialists in Digestive Health. Southwestern Endoscopy Center is a state licensed and Medicare certified facility and emphasizes privacy, comfort, caring, and safety for colonoscopies and upper GI endoscopies. Painless procedures are done with twilight sedation given by a board-certified anesthesiologist. The center accepts most insurance plans and is staffed by Drs. Ruth Hart, Calabrese, Stokes, SWGI, specialists in digestive health. Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network where the Laurel Highlands Mustangs lead the Connorsville Falcons 40 to 39. Getting ready to start the fourth quarter. Connorsville with the possession arrow. Able to trigger it in. Here's Hooper. Again, the Mustangs in the 2 1 2. Original starters in for both teams. Musgrove trying to entry pass there to Mayer. Near steal. Here's Shearer with a little high low to Keedy. Good defense there by Jaden Pratt. I'm going to take that back again. Tyvon Long is out again. It's Jaden Pratt seeing more action for the Mustangs. Here's Hooper. Foul line extended jumper. Can't get it to go. The Mustangs coming back the other way. Rodney Gallagher. Gallagher thought about it, but Hooper stepped out there. Nice defensive job by Ahmad. And Gallagher waiting for the motion. It's Palumbo up top. Going to get it to Pratt. Foul line extended. Gallagher can't shake free for his shot. And again, Connorsville playing good defense. We're going to get a timeout by Coach Auger. So 6.54 to go here in this contest. No scoring in the fourth quarter, so the Mustangs still lead 40-39. to 39. We'll be right back after these messages on the South Union Township Sports Network. The key to success in life is teamwork. On and off the field, in the workplace, in the home, in our schools. Teamwork gets it done. The world of competitive sports offers many good things the most important of which is teamwork. Individual talent may win a few games, but teamwork wins championships. Go team, go Laurel Highlands Mustangs. 
This positive message has been brought to you and paid for by Jason Scott. back to the South Union Township Sports Network. Laurel Hines Mustangs with a one-point lead. 6.50 to go here, fourth quarter. Coach Auger with the timeout, trying to put a little offensive action into the Mustangs here. There's Rodney Gallagher. Smith now stepping in, taking the point. Gallagher being guarded closely by Sam Soison. Smith near steal. Nice pass to Pratt. Great job there by Timmy Smith to draw the defense and drop it down to Pratt for an easy basket. 42-39 Mustangs. Here's Mayer coming back the other way. Again, a nice entry pass by Musgrove. And Mayer now with a game-high 18. And the lead back to 1, 42-41. Laurel Highlands over Connorsville. Eggnot setting a screen up high. Gallagher thought about it. Now he's going to step in. A little teardrop floater in the lane. No good. And Cole Shearer for the Falcons comes out with that rebound. Here's Hooper going to take it strong, and he's going to be fouled. No, he's going to get called for the travel. Hooper thought he was fouled, and so did I. Thought Nick Eggnot kind of fouled him there, but they're going to call a travel on Ahmad Hooper, so it's going to be a turnover. 42-41, the Mustangs leading, 5.40 to go. Here's Gallagher going to step in, and he's going to get called for the travel. So Gallagher with the turnover on this end, Hooper with the turnover on the last trip down. 42-41, five and a half minutes to go, fourth quarter. Hooper. Working it around the perimeter. Soison thought about it. He's already got two made threes. Here's Hooper with the three. And yes, Ahmad Hooper, who made the big three at the end of the first quarter, now comes back with his second three and puts the Falcons up 44-42. That's Ahmad's sixth point of the day. Gives the Falcons a lead here with five minutes to go in this fourth quarter. Here's Agnot, little jumper in the lane. Nice pass there by Smith. Nick Agnott with great minutes for the Mustangs today. He got the start, and he's got eight points so far. And the game is tied, 44-44. Near steal there again. Smith pokes it out of Musgrove's hands. And the Falcons retain possession. Caden Phillips going to check in for Nick Agnott. As we said, Agnott now with eight points total, six of those coming in the second half. And he's going to take a little breather. Caden Phillips seeing some action. Coach Hogger going with a little size underneath. Phillips, a 6'1 junior forward. Here's Musgrove with a three. In and out. Pratt comes out of there with a the rebound. So the Mustangs looking to take the lead again. 44-44. We're down to 420 to go here, fourth quarter. Gallagher. Phillips trying to set the screen. Gallagher going to work off of it now. Shaking, but can't shake Soison. Nice defense by Soison. Nice entry pass there to Pratt. Timmy Smith, the last couple trips down, has made great entry passes to Pratt and Nick Egnott. And Pratt's going to get fouled there. That foul's going to be on Josh Mayer. That's his second. But that's going to send Jaden Pratt to the line. Pratt with four here today. 
This is going to be his first trip to the line. Pratt with the first. Gets it to go. Pratt now with five points. Gives the Mustangs back the lead, 45-44. Pratt strong off the back iron on his second attempt. Rebound there, Soison. Here's Hooper. Surveying the situation. Soison trying to get it down to Mayer. He's going to be double teamed. That ball's going to be knocked out of bounds by Rodney Gallagher. Mayer trying to make the move on Pratt. But Pratt with good defense. And Gallagher slumped down. Double teamed him a near steal, but was unfortunate that it went out of bounds. So now Conazil. Here's Mayer. Little jumper. No good. Gallagher with the rebound. Gallagher coming the other way with a head of steam, and he's going to take it strong. No good. Tried to get it to Pratt, but he just couldn't corral the pass. Here's Hooper coming the other way, and he's going to get fouled. Nice job by Gallagher on that backside to draw the defenders and drop it to Pratt, but the ball was at his feet, and he couldn't control it. So now we're going to come back on the other side, and Timmy Smith is going to foul a charging Ahmad Hooper. That's Smith's first foul and only the fourth team foul here in this second half for the Mustangs. Connorsville has five team fouls, and we have 3.31 to go here in the fourth. So not a whole lot of fouls called here today. Pretty clean game. And here's Hooper. Soison going to take another three. Partially blocked. Pratt comes out of there. Caleb Palumbo, I think he got a hand on it. And here's Gallagher. Looking to extend this lead. One point, 45-44. Gallagher being guarded by Hooper. Here comes Agnot setting the screen. Timmy Smith fake. Now he's going to take the three. No good. Long rebound out to Gallagher. It's strong little teardrop. Got it to go. Gallagher with the floater in the lane. Extends the lead back up to 47-44. Three-point advantage by the Mustangs. Gallagher with 13 here today. We're down to 240 to go in the contest. Nice pass to Mayer. Musgrove with another beautiful assist. Mayer able to establish position, and he's going to get fouled. That foul is going to be on Nick Agnot. That's going to be his third foul. And that's going to send Mayer to the line. Mayer gets it to go. Josh Mayer is second. Old school three-point play of the day. He's got 21, and the Mustangs and Falcons are tied here. Two and a half to go. 47-47. Here's Pratt, baseline jumper. Good. Jaden Pratt. Nice little jumper there from about eight feet. Gives the Mustangs back the lead. 49-47. Here's Palumbo coming the other way. Just lost the handle on that pass. Musgrove. Going to take it strong, and he's going to get called for the charge. No! Gallagher thought he had position. But the referee called Gallagher for the block. Musgrove took that strong, but I actually thought it was a charge myself, but Musgrove's going to go to the line. Cade Musgrove with eight here today. Trying to get the Falcons back to either one down or tie. They're going to call it a shooting foul. Musgrove misses the first. The Falcons now four for nine on the day from the foul line. Musgrove, as we said, has eight looking for his ninth point. And he gets that one. So Cade Musgrove now with nine. In the lead now, 49-48. We're down to 2.08 to play. Timeout on the floor, and we're going to take a timeout as well. We'll be right back on the South Union Township Sports Network right after these messages. Davis and Davis, helping the injured. If you're injured in an accident, after you address the medical problems, you're going to be faced with numerous questions concerning who's going to pay your medical bills, your property damage, wages that you might be losing if you can't go to work. These are things that you need counsel for. That your income is protected, that your bills are paid, that your family's taken care of. We've been doing this since 1976. We've helped injured people. We can help you. 
Davis and Davis, Attorneys at Law. Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network. We're back with the final 208 to play here. In this fourth quarter, the Mustangs lead the Falcons 49-48. And every game, everything we expected of this game, tight game, both teams pretty evenly matched. And the score indicates the same. So we're under two to go. Here's Smith. The Falcons now in a man-to-man -man defense. And we're going to have a hold. That's going to be a hold foul on Ahmad Hooper. He was holding Gallagher as he was trying to shake free to get the ball. Nobody in real foul trouble here for either team. Gallagher able to get shake free of Hooper now. He's going to run the point. Mustangs looking to clear out for Gallagher. He may take this one-on-one -on -one by himself against Hooper, and he does. Gallagher, nice defense, fade away, no good. Nick Agot with position. But that ball is going to be knocked out of bounds by Musgrove. Musgrove wanted to call that it went off Nick Egnot, but he's lucky he didn't get called for an over the back. The Mustangs to retain possession, and Coach Hogger's going to call a timeout. So with 1.33 to go, the Mustangs still hold a one-point lead in 49-48. We'll be right back on the South Union Township Sports Network right after these messages. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network. Tony Nola with Jerry Dupay. We're seeing a great contest here today. 49-48, 1.33 to go in the fourth quarter. The Mustangs with a one-point lead over the Falcons. Here's Timmy Smith being guarded closely by Cole Shear. He's going to take it down the lane, kick it to Pratt. Pratt goes up strong. Again, nice job by Timmy Smith with the dish. Pratt now with... Seven in the quarter, nine for the game, and the lead back up to three. 51 to 48. We're down to a minute to go. That ball was a kick off of Smith. Connorsville to retain possession. Checking in for the Falcons will be Braden Stillwag and the 6-1 junior guard. He's going to check in for Cole Shear. And Timmy Smith with another assist in this quarter. Great job by Smith and Pratt coming off the bench and giving the Mustangs valuable minutes. Here's Musgrove in the lane. He's going to go up strong. He's going to get fouled. Musgrove tried to make the move. He was actually double teamed there by Gallagher and Nick Agnot. But they're going to call that on Agnot. That's going to be his fourth foul. So Agnot the only one in foul trouble on either side, but it's going to send Cade Musgrove to the line where Musgrove knocks down the first. Musgrove now with 10. And again, defense for offense. Still wagon checking out. Shear checking in. Musgrove misses the second. So the lead's still at 251-49. So we said we're under a minute to go here in the fourth quarter. Smith gets it back to Gallagher. We're going to have another timeout. Coach Hogger going to call a timeout with 48.4 seconds to go. The Mustangs leading 51 to 49 over the Falcons. We'll be right back on the South Union Township Sports Network right after these messages. Creditors calling you day and night? Your debt overwhelms you? Although you may feel that you're in a hopeless situation, Zebli Mahalov and White can help. We're a full service local bankruptcy firm that knows what a difficult time this is and what to do to help you get a fresh start. Call Zebley, Mahalov and White today for a free consultation. Your hometown bankruptcy firm. Call us today. Don't borrow more money until you talk to Zebley, Mahalov and White. Well, 
Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network. We're down to the final 48.4 seconds to go in this contest. The Mustangs 51, the Connorsville Falcons 49. The Mustangs with possession. Smith trying to get a double team. Here's Gallagher going to get it to the middle of the floor. Nice job. Soison and Hooper applying possession. I'm sorry, applying pressure out front. Pratt cross court pass, but able to get there. Here's Gallagher back to Smith. Going to get it to Agnot and kick it back out. A little stall game going on. Palumbo with a bad pass. Musgrove with the steal coming the other way. We're down to 20 seconds to play. Two point lead by the Mustangs, 51 to 49. And Coach Hedrick going to call timeout. 17 seconds to go in a two point lead. The Mustangs leading the Falcons, 51 49. And we'll be back for the finale here on the South Union Township Sports Network after these messages. Smith, Lewis, and Chess, financial advisors of Uniontown. We'd like to wish the Laurel Hines boys basketball team and their coaches on having a successful basketball season. The South Union Township Sports Network. 17 seconds to go. The Mustangs trying to hold on to this two-point lead, 51-49 against the Connorsville Falcons. Here's Soison from the corner. Short, no good. Pratt with the rebound. Gallagher coming out. He's going to be fouled. That's going to be a foul on Sam Soison. Soison with six points on the day, but that's his first foul. And that's going to send the 83% foul shooter, Rodney Gallagher, to the line for a 1-1, one 51-49, one. 7.4 seconds to go. Gallagher with 13 points here today. He's 3-4 for four from the line. And here's the front end of the 1-1. One and one. Up and good. Rodney Gallagher with a key free throw to extend the lead to 3, 52-49. Can he convert the second? He does. Rodney Gallagher with two big foul shots to give the Mustangs a two-possession lead, 53-49. to 7.4 seconds to go, and we're going to keep it here. The Mustangs playing today. They'll be off until next Friday when they host Greensburg-Salem, and then they'll play again Saturday at 1.30 on January 11th against Waynesburg Central. Connorsville, on the other hand, will play Tuesday night a home game against Latrobe in Section 3 6A play, where they are 1 and 1 on the year. So, two big foul shots by Gallagher. Pretty close to where we were last game. The Falcons beat the Mustangs 54 to 46, able to convert six free throws down the stretch in the last 90 seconds. And here's Gallagher doing the same thing for the Mustangs. Mustangs have to avoid the fouls to come away with a big win. As we mentioned, the Mustangs lost a heartbreaker last night to Gateway 56-53. The Mustangs, as we said, with four losses on the year, they had an eight-point loss to Connorsville, and the last three losses that they had were all by three points. So playing good basketball, just a couple tough losses. Here's Hooper with the inbounds. Defense is good. He's going to drive in strong, go for the layup, and get it to go. Coach Hedrick going to call his timeout with 1.7 seconds to go. And we're going to keep it here. Only if he's going to have a full timeout. We'll go over the scoring briefly. Gallagher, as we mentioned, with two key foul shots, making that one and one. He's got 15 on the day. Terrence Thomas Brown off the bench with five. Palumbo with nine on three made threes. Tyvon Long with two. We haven't seen Tyvon Long. Not exactly sure why he hasn't seen a lot of action. But we've seen Jaden Phillips and Jaden Pratt with a lot of playing time. Tyvon Long is on the bench, but not exactly sure what's wrong with him. And as we mentioned, haven't seen Keandre Cook at all. 
don't see him dressed, and rumor was that he is injured, injured last night, but not exactly sure what or how. Was not able to confirm that with Coach Auger, but we have not seen the 6'1 senior forward here today at all for the Mustangs. So 53-51. The Mustangs will trigger it in with 1.7 seconds to go. Connorsville, just a matter of who they want to foul. On the floor for the Mustangs, Smith, Gallagher, Thomas Brown, Pratt, and Caleb Palumbo. Thomas Brown to trigger it in. Josh Mayer, the 6-6 senior forward, giving Brown all he can handle right on the inbounds. There's a pass into Smith. He's going to be fouled immediately by Gage Dillette, who checked in for the Falcons. Only .5 seconds ran off the clock, but that's going to send Smith to the line. That's Jalot's first foul. Now Jalot going to check back out. Colby Keedy going to check back in. The Mustangs not putting anybody on the line. Timmy Smith, the 5'10 sophomore forward with five points on the day. Misses the front end. Here's a long shot attempt by Shear, but no good. And the Laurel Highlands Mustangs avenge an opening season loss against the Connorsville Falcons and end up with a big 53-51 win against the Falcons here this Saturday afternoon. Nice game by both teams. Not a whole lot of fouls on either side. And we'll finish up with the final stats here for you. Rodney Gallagher with a team high 15. Terrence Thomas Brown off the bench with five. Caleb Palumbo with nine on three made three pointers. Tyvon Long with two. And as we said, did not see a whole lot of action here in this game. Nick Egnott with eight for the Mustangs. Timmy Smith with five, and Jaden Pratt with nine off the bench for the Mustangs. Great job at seven of those points by Pratt coming in the fourth quarter. So the Mustangs with 13 in the first, 12 in the second, 15 in the third, and 13 in the fourth for their total of 53. They had five made three-pointers, one by Timmy Smith, one by Terrence Thomas Brown and three by Caleb Palumbo in the tonight's win. For the Connorsville Falcons, Ahmad Hooper had six points on two made threes, one in the first quarter and one in the fourth quarter. Sam Soison off the bench with six. He had two made threes, one in the second and one in the first. Musgrove, Cade Musgrove had ten points for Connorsville today. He had two made threes. Cole Shearer with two. And Josh Mayer with a team high and game high, 21. And Josh Marietta off the bench with four points all in the third quarter. The Cottonsville Falcons scored 12 in the first, 11 in the second, 16 in the third, and 12 in the fourth for their total of 51. They had six made three-pointers, two by Soison, two by Musgrove, and two by Ahmad Hooper for their total of 51 points. So as we mentioned, the Mustangs with a big win on today's game. And in closing, today's game was brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring township supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband, Armstrong Cable, and our friends at CUTV with Gary Smith and his staff. I'm Tony Anula with Jerry DuPay, and this has been a South Union Township Sports Network presentation.